Hey everyone, this is Cameron, Fiji Critic, uh, bringing you another parent's guide. This time on The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Um, so I just came out on the Switch, so I figured I'd just make a, make a, gamer, make a parent's guide on it, because it just came out on the Switch. So it's going to focus more on the Switch, but it will apply to all Skyrims. Um, so it's available on the Switch, uh, basically every Xbox console, and basically every PlayStation console, as well as the PC, um, not Mac. Oh, it could be. Alright, so brief synopsis of the game. There's a civil war brewing in Skyrim. I'm just going to read my script, and then, like, you know, like a movie. <clears throat> There's a civil war brewing in Skyrim. Imperials versus Stormcloaks. As Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks, is in line to be executed for treason, and you, the player, have your head on a chopping block for different crimes, a dragon surprises everyone, and amidst all the hubbub, Ulfric and yourself escape. Now you must find out where the dragons are coming from, and defeat them once and for all, for you are the Dragonborn. It's not the only Dragonborn, though, it's just, you're, depending on what path you go down, you're the only good one. Alright, so, cost of the game... Uh, it's fifty nine ninety nine on the Switch. Uh, it's actually on sale Amazon dot com link in the description for fifty seven dollars. That's like a whole three dollars off, which I know isn't a whole lot, but three dollars is three dollars. Uh, it's thirty nine ninety nine on the PlayStation Four and the Xbox One. It's only more on the Switch because it just came out more on the Switch. Uh, on the PlayStation Three and the Xbox Three Sixty, it's only twenty one fifty, uh, and on the PC, it's twenty seven ninety five. The ASRB gives it an M for mature rating. Uh, we're going to go through our rating system real fast. Rated on a scale of 1 to 10. At, wow, 1 to 5, and it's out of 30. Uh, language rating, I gave it a 3. Uh, it says the D word and the B word. Uh, the D word quite a bit. Uh, B word I've heard a couple times. Uh, plot appropriate, it's a 3. Your plot is to save the world, killing stuff. So, you know, mostly dragons. You don't actually, I don't actually, I don't think you have, I mean, there's a couple of bandits you have to kill, but I don't think you have to, like, you know, it's not like a ton. Violence rating, it gets a four. It's not like the most violent game in the world, but it's definitely pretty violent. Like you just walk around, hey look, there's a guy trying to attack me. I kill him with this cool animation where I put my mace in his neck. That's how it goes. Uh nudity rating gets a two. Uh you can make your character just be in rags. Basically it's like barely anything if you're a dude, barely anything if you're a woman, so it gets a two on nudity. Gore, it only gets a three. There's a lot of blood. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of blood. But you don't see any organs or guts or brains or anything like that. So it, it, it gets a three. Drugs and alcohol, we gave it a two. Um, it's just like there is drugs in it, but it's not like very often. It's like, hey, look, there's this drug called skooma. And then you say, oh, okay. And it's like in one other quest. Uh, it also does have alcohol you don't need, but it does have potions. Uh, the ESRB rates potions as drugs, so it'll probably be a little higher up on the ESRB rating. Uh, we gave it a 17 out of 30 in that regard, so teen, 13 up, actually. Uh, I think a T rating from the ESRB would have been a perfectly acceptable, uh, perfectly acceptable title or rating. I mean, uh, what's the replayability of the game? Does it keep its value? Well, the replayability is amazing. There are so many different side quests you can do, especially if you buy the Legendary Edition, which is the only one that comes with the Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, it comes with a ton of extra DLCs. Three whole missions, which have mission... Well, three whole... Like, three DLCs, which have mission on mission on mission on mission on mission. It's just tons of missions. Uh, it keeps the game new and fresh. Uh, when I started playing through on the Switch about a week and a half ago, it's my seventh time playing through the game, I found side quests that I didn't even know existed yet. I like walked up to the dude, th this guy, and he goes, "Hey, I need your help. My I don't know where my sister is." And I'm, okay, yeah, I'll help you out. Uh, and then I was like, "I'm gonna do a couple other things first. Come back to you." And then I went to the Dark Brotherhood, and I it turns out that was one of my contracts. So never found his sister though. Feels bad. Um, would you know? That's amazing. I just can find side quests I didn't know existed on my seventh playthrough. Um, who should you buy this game for, and who shouldn't play this game? Anyone over the age of 15 that enjoys adventures games uh, should own this game honestly like i said 13 but i think you want to be like a little bit like not necessarily more mature for the violence or gore rating or anything like that. i just it'll help you understand the story a little bit more uh the people that shouldn't play this game are like young kids or anyone who's easily frightened because there is some scary imagery and sam will fight me on this um but the black books um you enter a black book there's some pretty scary stuff in there like Lurkers and Seekers are pretty scary. Um, there's a there's a couple things in there like in the it's only in the black books though, that like really there's anything 
finding it all. You also, in the Dawn Guard DLC, you go to literally the afterlife. Um, and there's like a whole bunch of stuff, like skeletons that are kind of creepy looking trying to kill you. So if you're, if you're scared, if you scare easily, I would not recommend this game. Other information about the game, the game's amazing, honestly. It's won so many awards, and it deserves all of them, plus more. Uh, there's so much to do in this game, it's actually a little ridiculous that they only charge $60 for it. It could be charged, it could like charge 100 and I'd buy this game. To put it in perspective, it just came out on the Nintendo Switch. Um, November 2nd, I want to say. Sometime at the beginning of November. However, the game itself came out in 2011 for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and PC. 2011. That's six years later to the day. They actually released it six years later to the day. I bet you didn't know that one. Six years later to the day. That's amazing. Like six years. And they said, yeah, we can still charge $60 for this game because it's a good game. And they did. And people bought it. I bought it. I know tons of people that bought it. If that doesn't speak to just how awesome it is, nothing will. Um, so... Uh, to go a, lot, a little bit more information money-wise, there are, I mean, not money-wise, um, mod-wise, there are mods on the PC, Xbox One, and PS4 that are currently not any for the Switch, just because there's no way to get a mod on the Switch, as far as I'm aware. I mean, maybe you can upload it to the SD card and plug it in, but I'm not entirely sure how well that would work. As far as I'm aware, currently, there's no way to mod uh, your game in the Switch version. Uh, that's it from us. Uh, VG Critic with his parents guide. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit that thumbs up button. Share with your friends who are interested in buying Skyrim for themselves or their kids. Skyrim's a great game all around for anyone, honestly. Um, if you want to see more videos, remember to hit the subscribe button. That little bell next to it will notify you whenever we upload a video. Also, when we go live, Darren just live streamed something a little while ago called No Mobile Monday, sorry. And it was because he moved. So he couldn't get me a video. And also, he couldn't make any thumbnails for videos. Maybe he deserves all the roasting he's been getting from Dream Creek Lane. Sam so much. Sam's really upset about it. Upset he's forgetting. I don't know. How dare Darren move? How dare he have a life outside of us? Now? How dare he? He should have made my thumbnails forever ago. Anyway, so, you know, you'll be notified about that. Remember to hit subscribe for the Opinion of Gamers podcast where we debate video games. It's like, you know, that old TV show where they debate movies, except it's video games. Uh, remember to subscribe for the Gamers Guides, which usually it's Sam but sometimes it's some other people, maybe, if they ever make any. Um, so subscribe for Parents Guides, which is this show, and also the Monday show, which I said, Darren, my boy, plays games. He's bad at them, but he knows he's bad at them. Dream Geek Lane also knows he's bad at them and tells him every week. That's how it goes. All right, Dream Creek Land, I like you, though. I think you're cool. I hope you like me, Dream Creek Land. Comment below whether you like me or not. All right, see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Links in the description down below. See ya! Yo, what up? It's Sam from VG Critic, back with another gamer's guide.